What's up everyone? My name is Mickey, your name is probably something else, and welcome to week number two of No Hope Lost. So this week on No Hope Lost is advice week, and I decided I would give you some advice on my absolute favorite day of the entire year, the Vans Warp Tour. So if you haven't heard of or have never been to Vans Warp Tour, it is a big, giant, alternative, pop punk, music scene, festival with lots of artists. It's usually over 100 of them. There are multiple different stages set up at one venue and it goes all across the United States and parts of Canada. It's just an awesome place where everyone can get together, watch bands, meet bands, listen to music, and just have fun. So if you have not heard the lineup yet for this year's Bands Walk Tour, some of the bigger bands on the tour this year are Bullet For My Valentine, Issues, Yellow Card, Set It Off, Four Years Strong, and Secret Silence. So since this week is Advice Week, I'm going to be giving all of you some advice on Bullet First Warp Tour. Now all of those bands are great and everything, but my first piece of advice is to go find some bands you have never heard of and watch them. I really see Vans Warped Tour as a way for smaller bands to promote themselves, especially in their local area, and to be able to just get more of an audience and grow their demographic a little bit. A couple of the smaller bands on this year's Warped Tour are Say We Can Fly and Assuming We Survive. Say We Can Fly has been on Warped Tour before and he is getting much bigger now because he's so associated with like YouTube and other like social media. Assuming We Survive I think is not as well known. They are a California local band I believe. I've seen them perform once before. They were opening for a friend of mine and they were so great and they were so fun to watch live. They, they put on an awesome show. So that's definitely a band that I suggest you go and check out while you're at work tour. So other than the bands you should see, it's pretty important to know what to bring to work tour. One thing that is definitely super important and may even be the most important thing to bring is water. It gets very, very hot very quickly and it's really important to stay hydrated and stay safe. One thing that's pretty cool about work tour is you can bring any sealed water bottle that is empty and they will refill it for you. They have refill stations uh, for water and you can just go during any time during the day. Another thing I definitely suggest bringing is a Sharpie because you never know when you're going to run into a band member who you really like and you might want an autograph or something. Another thing obviously is money. You are going to need cash. Um, they have an ATM inside which is nice because you can just go get cash if you don't have any. But unfortunately, food and drinks at work tour are very expensive and it's something you're probably going to need because you're going to be there for a whole day. Also, you will most likely want to buy band merch. Even if you go there thinking you're not going to buy any merch, you probably will. Next, I would definitely bring sunscreen because as I said before, it's really hot and you will get sunburned. I get sunburned every single year. So yeah, that'll happen. Another thing you should definitely bring is a drawstring bag like this one. Um, the ones that like cinch together at the top are super helpful because you can keep all of the merch that you buy inside of there. You also get a lot of free stuff at Warped Tour. People give out free bracelets, free CDs sometimes. And it's important that you have something to carry them in where you can still be comfortable and walk around. And these are the perfect options for that. Another thing you should definitely bring with you to work tour is a phone charger. Um, they do have charging stations at work tour where you can go plug in your phone. They just have a bunch of outlets on either a wall or a table and you will be able to just go there whenever you want, plug your phone in, let it charge for a while. This is really important because your phone will die most likely. Um, you are going to be communicating with friends, trying to figure out where everyone is almost all day so it's important that you have that so your phone doesn't go dead yeah and last but not least for things to bring um it's during the past few years of war tour they have been having a canned food drive where if you bring 
I believe it's three cans of canned food, you are able to get a pass to skip the line. And that's super helpful because you get to go look at the schedule earlier. You get to go buy your schedule if you're going to buy one and you will know earlier when all of your favorite bands are playing. As for what to wear to Warp Tour, obviously just dress for the heat. It's going to get hot, it's going to get sweaty. I would dress like you would to any old concert, any old show, but dress for it being even hotter. I usually wear like a cut off t-shirt like this without the sleeves and either skinny jeans or shorts. Also, from what you're wearing, you definitely want clothes to shoes. You don't want your toes to be exposed. Even if you plan on staying out of the pits and out of the mosh area, you're probably going to get set on because there's so many people anyway. So when you get to work tour, the first thing you're going to do is be standing in line for a while. Actually, being in line is one of my favorite parts of work tour because it's fun to be able to just talk to everybody in line and like hang out. What's also cool is a lot of local bands and artists from your area will probably be going through the line, going back and forth in line and promoting their own music. I know personally my band is probably going to be doing that at my local date. We're going to hopefully have a few songs done by then and be able to show them to people in line. So when you do go inside for World Tour, the very first thing you should do is either buy a schedule, they will have printed out schedules for you, I think for $3 you really buy one. I know it's expensive for a piece of paper, but just do it, it helps to know when your favorite band is playing. So either buy that or go to the big inflatable schedule that they will have somewhere in the center of the venue. That is the one and only way to know what band is playing, what time, and what stage they're playing on. Usually that printed out schedule I was talking about will also have a map on the back of it so you know where every stage is. It is pretty easy to get lost because there's quite a few stages and quite a few booths to pay attention to, but you get the hang of it after you're there all day. Another thing I would do right away when you go inside is go to your favorite band's merch table, find where it is, go look at signs and things and see when they're doing any meet and greets. You'll need to get a pass to be able to get into the actual signing. Passes do go very quickly. I have had times where I've wanted to meet a band. I go, the passes are out, and I'm not allowed to meet them. So definitely do that in the very beginning because if you want to meet your favorite band and you don't get to, it's pretty disappointing. And obviously, last but not least, the very most important thing for the work show is to stay safe and stay hydrated. Please, please, Please drink water. Even if you don't think you need it, do it. So just be aware of your surroundings. Look at those around you. Make sure everyone's staying safe and you're staying safe. And at the same time, watch all the bands, have fun, do your thing, and have a good time. Warp Tour is just an awesome community. I'm really glad I ended up getting into it. And I have met so many people through Warp Tour. You go, you make so many friends who like have all the same interests as you and it's really, really cool. I will definitely be vlogging Warp Tour on my channel. It's all the way in the summer, but I will be at the Washington date. It'll be a good time. So if you're going to Warp Tour, tell me what date you're going to and who you are most excited to see. So leave them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to No Hope Lost. You can subscribe to my channel as well. I'll leave a link in the description and have fun at Warp Tour this year. Have fun with your lives and I will see you next time. Goodbye.